with a new topic that is waves so wave is a vibratory disturbance in a medium which carries energy from one point to another without any actual movement of the medium so next we have types of waves so there are three three types of waves one is the mechanical wave so they require material medium for the propagation examples are sound waves and water waves next we have electromagnetic waves these waves does not require material medium for propagation just like light waves and radio waves next are the matter waves these waves are associated with electrons <coughs> and protons and other fundamental particles next topic is nature of waves so we classify the nature of waves as transverse waves and longitudinal wave a wave in which the particles of medium vibrate at right angles to the direction of propagation of wave is called a transverse wave these waves travels in the form of crest and troughs so you can see here a transverse wave this is the direction of propagation and uh, the particles they move up and down and they form crest and troughs during their propagation next longitudinal waves a wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate in the same direction in which the wave is propagating is called longitudinal wave here you can see the waveform of a uh, here you can see that uh, compression and rarefaction in a string in a spring these waves travel in the form of compression and rarefaction next is how we can mathematically represent a progressive wave a progressive wave can be represented as y xt this is the uh, displacement of different particles you can see here uh, which are shown by the arrows at time t now given y xt is equals to a sin kx minus omega t plus phi in the positive x direction and y is equals to xt that is equal to y as a function of x and t is equals to a sin kx omega t plus phi in the negative x direction now amplitude and phase the amplitude a of the wave is the magnitude of maximum displacement of the elements from their equilibrium positions which is positive quantity even if displacement is negative so here you can see so the maximum displacement of the elements from their equilibrium position is called the amplitude the argument kx minus omega t plus phi is called the phase of wave and phi is equals to phase constant or phase angle next is wavelength and angular wave number the wavelength lambda is the distance covered by a wave between two consecutive troughs or crests or two consecutive points in the same phase of the wave motion wavelength which is marked t is equals to 0 and phi is equals to 0 we have y x comma 0 is equals to a sin k x by definition the displacement y has to be same at the both ends that is x is equals to x1 and x is equals to x1 plus lambda it means a sin k x1 is equals to a sin k x1 plus lambda so k lambda is equals to 2 pi n n is equals to 1 to 3 now lambda is the least distance between the points with the same phase n is equals to 1 thus we get the solution k is equals to 2 pi by lambda where k is the propagation constant and si unit is radian per meter next is period angular frequency and frequency of a wave so what is period of oscillation it is the time that any string element takes to complete one oscillation it is called period of of oscillation denoted by t consider the time period between t1 and t1 plus t we have minus y0 sin omega t1 is equals to minus y0 sin omega t plus t1 this will hold good if least value of omega t is 2 pi or omega d is equals to 2 pi upon omega where omega is the angular frequency whose si unit is radian per second new it is defined as the number of oscillation per unit time made by the string 
nu is equals to 1 upon t that is equals to 2 pi uh, omega upon 2 pi next is uh, the speed of a transverse wave on a stretched string the speed of a transverse wave depends on mass per unit length that is linear mass density mu which is required so that the particles get ki gain kinetic energy second the tension in the string which determines how fast the wave can travel the linear mass density mu has dimension ml minus 1 t0 tension in the string has a dimension ml t minus 2 combining the two factors so that we get the dimensions of velocity that is ml t minus 2 upon ml minus 1 will give you l square t minus 2 thus the given velocity depend only on t and mu we get the relation v is equals to uh, c root over of t upon mu c is a dimensionless constant whose value is 1 so v is equals to root of t upon mu the speed of transverse wave along a stretch string depends only on applied tension and linear mass density of the string of a longitudinal wave in a longitudinal wave the constituent particles of medium vibrate forward and backward in the direction of propagation of wave for example sound wave travels in the form of compression and rarefactions of small volume elements of air if del p is change in the pressure causing a change delta v in the volume element v we define the bulk modulus b of the element as b is equals to delta p whole upon v delta v upon v where delta v upon v is the fractional change in the volume due to delta p now the dimensions of bulk modulus b is equals to ml minus 1 t minus 2 delta p is equals to f upon a that is m upon a so that is ml minus 1 t minus 2 now rho is the mass per, uh, per unit volume that is density ml so it has dimension ml minus 3 dividing rho by b we will get ml minus 3 divided by ml minus 1 t minus uh, sorry t to the power 2 minus 2 so it will give uh, l minus 2 t square that is 1 upon v square rho upon b is equal to 1 upon v square or v square is equals to b upon rho or v is equals to root over of b upon rho so this gives the velocity of a longitudinal wave principle of superposition of wave when two waves travel through same medium each particle of the medium through which the wave cross each other simultaneously suffers two displacement one due to each wave as a result the net displacement of the particles e is equal to the algebraic sum of the individual displacement due to the two waves this is the principle of superposition of wave if y is equals to y is the net displacement then it will be equal to y1 plus y2 till yn y2 and yn are the displacement produced by each wave separately next is the effects of superposition of wave when two waves of equal amplitude same frequency and moving with same speed in opposite direction in a medium superposed on each other they produce stationary waves or standing waves when two waves of same frequency moving with same speed in the same direction superpose on each other they produce interference effect and when two waves of slightly different frequencies moving with same velocity in same direction in a medium superpose on each other they produce phenomenon of beats next is the reflection of waves reflection of wave is a change in the direction of wave upon uh, striking the interface between two materials when the wave strike any interface between any two medium the bouncing back of wave is termed as reflection of wave now we have two cases of reflection one is open boundary when the wave strike the interface in case of open boundary it will get reflected as well as refracted and the closed boundary is closed boundary is when the rigid boundary is there so when a wave is incident on a wave on an interface in case of a closed boundary we will get reflected wave that is uh, example is echo 
नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्टेशनरी वेव इन स्ट्रिंग और एयर कॉलम्स एंड ऑर्गन पाइप्स सो एयर कॉलम्स सच एज अ ग्लास ट्यूब पार्शली फिल्ड विथ वॉटर हुज लेंथ ऑफ एयर कॉलम कैन बी एडजस्टेड बाय चेंजिंग द लेवल ऑफ वॉटर इन अ इन द ट्यूब बी इज द ऑर्गन पाइप विच इज सिंपल म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेयर साउंड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सेटिंग द एयर कॉलम इन टू वाइब्रेशन वेन एयर इज ब्लोन इन टू द पाइप द साउंड वेव ट्रेवल अलॉन्ग द पाइप इन गेट रिफ्लेक्टेड एट इट्स क्लोज और ओपन एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्टेशनरी वेव इफ वन एंड ऑफ द पाइप इज क्लोज इट इज कॉल्ड क्लोज पाइप वेन बोथ द एंड आर ओपन इट इज कॉल्ड ओपन पाइप नॉ नॉर्मल मोड ऑफ वाइब्रेशन ऑफ एयर कॉलम वेन वन मोड वन वेन वन एंड इज क्लोज एग्जाम्पल we are taking an example of water which is par- uh, which is partially filled in a glass tube the end in touch with the water uh, serves as the closed end thus when a tuning fork of given uh, frequency is stuck near the open end the vibrations are set into the air column producing a wave which is reflected uh, from the closed end that is a node is formed the ref- the direction of motion of particles changes with the result of reflected and incident wave uh, with the re- result of reflected and incident wave are exactly out of phase on the other hand the displacement of the particle is maximum at the open end and so an anti node is formed at the open end if the length of air column l is t- is l then the open end x is equals to l is an anti node and therefore l is equals to n plus 1 by 2 of lambda by 2 and n will be 0 1 2 and so on the node satisfy the condition lambda is equals to 2 l upon n plus 1 by 2 where n will be 1 2 3 and so on are sustained in such an air column the corresponding frequencies of big, uh, of various modes are given in terms of the speed of propagation by the relation equals to v upon lambda and uh, it is equal to v upon 2l into n plus 1 by 2 for n being 0 1 2 and so on the normal modes of vibration in air column are shown here so this is the fundamental or the first harmonic here a node is formed and here anti node is formed node is formed at x is equals to 0 this is in the glass tube and at x is equals to l and anti node is formed now at uh, in the third harmonic you can see uh, here uh, x, uh, n node is formed at x is equals to 0 and anti node is formed at x is equals to sorry l is equals uh, l by 3 and node is formed at x is equals to 2l by 3 anti node is formed at x is equals to l and then the fifth harmonic is formed so uh, at x is equals to 0 a node is formed x is equals to l by 5 anti node is formed x is equals to l by 5 and node is formed and x is equals to 3l by 5 anti node is formed x is equals to n sorry x is equals to l 4l by 5 a node is formed and x is equals to l a uh, an anti node is formed this is in case of a fifth harmonic now using a laplace formula velocity of sound is given by v is equals to root over lambda p upon rho we have for a fundamental frequency new one 1 upon 4l is equal into root of gamma p upon rho so here three new five new seven new will represent the third fifth and seventh harmonic normal modes of vibration of an open organ pipe when both the ends of organ pipe are open the waves are reflected from both the ends as a result the particles have maximum displacement uh, giving rise to anti nodes at both the ends here you can see this is the first harmonic when the both the ends of the organ pipe are open here you can see an anti node is formed at x is equals to 0 at l by 2 a node is formed and at x is equals to no l and anti node is formed and so here you can see for the second harmonic also and here is also the 
uh, for fourth harmonic also so in the first harmonic there is one note in the middle and two anti notes at the end the length of the tube l could be given by 2 lambda 1 by 4 that is lambda 1 by 2 now lambda 1 is equals to 2l then the frequency of vibration v1 will will be equals to v upon lambda 1 so that is 1 upon 2l root over of gamma p upon rho we are using again the laplace formula now for second harmonic l is equals to 4 lambda 2 by 4 that is equals to lambda 2 and the frequency v mu2 is equals to v lambda2 into 1 upon l root over of gamma p upon rho that is equals to 2 nu1 finally for the third harmonic l is equals to 6 lambda3 by 4 is equals to 3 by 2 lambda3 or lambda3 is equals to 2l by 3 frequency nu2 nu3 is equals to v upon lambda3 that is equals to 3 by 2l into root over of gamma p upon rho next is beats when two sound waves of slightly different frequencies traveling in the same direction superpose on each other beats are produced consider the superposition of two harmonic waves of same amplitude but having frequencies nu1 and nu2 where nu1 is greater than nu2 let the displacement of the two harmonic waves be phi 1 is equals to a cos omega 1 t is equals to a cos 2 pi nu 1 t and phi 2 is equals to a cos omega 2 t that is equal to a cos 2 pi nu 2 t the resultant displacement phi will be equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 so that is a cos omega t omega 1 t plus omega 2 t phi t is equals to 2 a cos omega 1 minus omega 2 by 2 t into cos omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 into t so this is an oscillatory motion with angular frequency omega 1 plus omega 2 by 2 and amplitude 2 a cos omega 1 plus 2 by 2 into t which is now time independent let us define an average angular frequency uh, omega average is equals to omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2 modulated angular frequency omega mod is equals to omega 1 minus omega 2 by 2 so that the mag uh, modulated amplitude is written as a modulated is equals to 2 a cos omega modulated into t now clearly modulated amplitude varies with time as omega modulated into t takes values 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi in one complete cycle the modulated amplitude in equation 4 becomes 2a 0 minus 2a 0 and 2a respectively so the result of superposition of two waves of nearly same frequencies is a wave with nearly same angular frequencies but having dip amplitude which is not constant but varies with time as a result the intensity of resultant wave varies with angular frequency so omega b is equals to 2 omega mod that is equals to omega 1 minus omega 2 or nu b is equals to nu 1 minus nu 2 the amplitude is maximum when 2 uh, when cos 2 pi nu modulated um, modulated into t is equals to n pi so t is equals to n upon nu 1 minus nu 2 is equals to 0 comma 1 upon nu 1 minus nu 2 comma 2 upon nu 1 minus nu 2 and so on that is time between two successive ma maxima is equals to 1 upon nu1 minus nu2 that is equals to 1 upon nu b similarly the time interval uh, between two consecutive minima will be equal to 1 upon nu1 minus nu2 that is equals to 1 upon nu b thus maxima and minima of intensity occur alternatively and uh, since the number of beats 
न्यू बी प्रोड्यूसेस पर सेकेंड प्रोड्यूस्ड पर सेकेंड इज न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू द टाइम इंटरवल बिटवीन टू सक्सेसिव बीट्स दैट इज बीट पीरियड टी बी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन न्यू बी दैट इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन न्यू वन माइनस न्यू टू दिस पीरियोडिक वेरिएशन इन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ साउंड सुपर पोजिशन ऑफ द साउंड वेव्स ऑफ स्लाइटली डिफरेंट फ्रिक्वेंसीज आर कॉल्ड बीट्स थैंक यू ऑल फॉर वॉचिंग हैव एन